Hey there, Sagittarius. Hope your guys' this week has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying for you guys this evening. What's coming out right now for your highest good? I'm going to be for my beautiful sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. Secret. Two more. Hanky panky. Somebody's thinking about you sexually. And then we've got this mask on here, too. And illusions. What is this? Something here about you shattering somebody's illusions, like secrets being exposed here. You jerked the mask up on somebody and had somebody see you. You made this person, you made like more than one person is seeing this person for who they truly are, is what I'm getting. This person's trying to figure out how to come toward you in secret. Something about exposing secrets I keep getting. What's the overall energy for Sagittarius? Overall. Self-esteem. You possess gifts of the soul. This is about you raising your self-esteem. This person was projecting onto you. This person, they feel low about themselves, so they wanted to project that onto you. Anybody that tries to point out flaws of yours or tries to just jab at you it's because they have something within themselves that they feel they they feel this way so they want to try to to make you feel some type of way about yourself this person doesn't like that you've raised your self-esteem up this person doesn't like that you're honest with yourself something about this person not being honest is being exposed this person is not honest with with the, the inner work that they need to do on themselves like they're in denial about this you can't expect the truth from this person or anybody at that matter. That's why you're being honest with yourself and you're moving away from a situation. Somebody that wants to try to tear you down, get away from these type of people, man. <sighs> yes. I instantly started getting a headache reading this person's energy. So this person's a very jealous, envious person. Ooh, this person really tried to paint you out pretty dark, didn't they? I could feel it. Yuck. Sagittarius. Okay. This person. They're not all that. This person's not all that. That's what this person does. They go around telling everybody that you're not all that. This It's like this person that will talk poorly to you, to, to anybody that will listen to them. In reality, you view them as they're not all that. Like this person has no factor in your life anymore. Like you're over it. This person is like trying to go around and convince everybody that you're the problem. You're the issue. When it's clearly them doing it. The person needs needs to check themselves before they wreck themselves. <laughs> you're sitting here breaking free. You're just chilling. Wishing upon a star. Putting your manifestations out there. Trusting your higher self. Just being at flow with the universe. It's beautiful. Continue to do that. Not forcing things. Not trying to hold on to things. Just, just letting things flow. Beautiful. Some of you guys replenish in nature. Something about journaling. You could be doing like um, a vision board, just journaling, writing things down for yourself, goals that you want for yourself here. This person's so, they're having a whole hate train about you while you're just focus on, focusing on bettering yourself. <laughs> Sagittarius. Self-worth. I'm telling you, self-esteem, self-worth. Look, I embrace my individuality and honor my worth. This person doesn't like that you have this self-worth about yourself. They tried to take that from you because they feel some type of way about themselves. You got this prosperity. That's what you're focused on. You're, you could care less what this person's saying about you. You have a prosperous mindset and know that you live in an abundant universe and that you will flourish and succeed. That's another reason why this person's envious of you. You, you love yourself. You're prosperous. And, and they pissed off at you for it. Oh, well. And you're nurturing. So you are connected to your feminine side. You you know how to balance that fine line of caring for others as well as caring for yourself. It's like this person expected for you to keep overextending yourself for them. And you're not doing that anymore. This person is 
misses the nurturing side that you gave them. This is somebody here that it's like this person has a facade, a facade on like they are this nurturing, caring person when they are not. They're an envious, spiteful person that I'm picking up on. Jeez, man. What about secret? What is secret here? Somebody's still sleeping with somebody in secret. First off, tell me about secret. Secret. Knight of Swords. Somebody's trying to come rushing towards you in secret. Like somebody could be trying to start arguments with you in secret. It's like this person. It's like this person would try to start conflict with you. And then they would take off and they'd run and go tell it anybody that would listen to it and try to make it seem like you were the problem this person they trying to rush towards you in secret trying to cause more secrets trying to come towards you in secret this is a very selfish person that sees that you're building this foundation you're this emperor energy and this is a very controlling person that doesn't like that you have wish fulfillments in your life here a very stubborn person that just how dare you have these your life get better. This is a very controlling, dominant person here that doesn't like that you're in control of your life. And it's like their life is spinning out of control. You. Closing out these cycles, opening up for new cycles. It's like this person is trying to, to come towards you in secret and try to stop the flow of these new things coming in for you. This person could have done some type of spell work towards you in secret, but you already know what's going on. This person's trying to figure out how to get this passion back between the two of you. Like, they're trying to figure out how they can sleep with you in secret. This person's doing a lot of things in secret. Sleeping around, just doing stuff in the dark. Like, this person's trying to figure out how to keep you stuck at a crossroads. Because they know that you're going in a different direction now, and they are pissed off. The sun. You illuminate things. You see this person for who they are. And this person is trying to gain some kind of information about you in secret. But you shine things on this person. That's why they're envious too. Like, like you're ten steps ahead of this person is what they don't realize. Tell you about Hanky Panky. Very sexual energy that this person's feeling towards you. This is, person's got no stability, no structure in their life. This is a very wishy-washy energy that goes back and forth, back and forth. Reckless, compulsive. You want balance. This person cannot bring you balance. So this person could be still in a relationship right now. And they're trying to come back and apologize to you. Trying to offer you something here. That apology is fishy. It's phony. They don't mean it. It's not sincere. This person likes to step out of connections. This is somebody here that will have a solid, firm foundation with somebody, and then they'll go out and step off, step towards other connections here, go around and sleep with other people. So this person sees you building this foundation, this prosperity here, and they want to try to come towards you and apologize and try to insert themselves back into your life here because they see this money that you've got coming in. they envious of it. So they want to try to come back and offer you something because they see your offers. Continue balancing yourself. Continue nurturing yourself. Continue being patient with yourself. This person wants to try to make peace with you and try to heal something here with you. This is earth angel energy. That could be another reason why this person's envious. The way that you bounced back from everything that was meant to destroy you. Because you're an earth angel. That's why you bounce back. Ace of Cups. So this person's trying to figure out how to get you to take their, their cup of love back. You're pouring back into yourself here. You've been investing into yourself. That's why everything is materializing for you. Not only did you step into your personal growth, you also stepped into these seeds that you have sown. And everything is materializing why this person wanted to go off and still sleep around. You chose to do the inner work. This person could have said that you were the one sleeping around. It's all about trying to make you look bad. This person, tell you that mask. You, you rip the mask off of this person. This person wants to try to come back and convince you that they have changed. There's something here about this person trying to go around and tell people that you haven't really changed. Like that you're wearing a mask too. <laughs> this wheel is turning in your favor. This prosperity is, is lining up for you because you did the inner work here. And now this person is trying to figure out how to get you to give to this still. 
This is somebody who likes to breadcrumb. It's definitely one-sided. That's why you're not giving to this situation here anymore. And somebody is still in a relationship, still emotionally connected to somebody else while they're trying to come back in here and convince you to take them back. There could be children involved here. This person, tens are about completions. This person doesn't like that you are completing a cycle and opening back up for new. This is somebody that will try to go and play the victim and they'll blame you for the reason that you guys had a falling out. And now they're sitting here spying and observing you, watching your life take off. That's why they're envious. You could be going into new partnerships. You could be going into new financial partnerships. You could be going into new love connections here. This person's trying to figure out how to get you to, you know, take their their olive branch that they're trying to extend to you. You're not going to go for it. This is somebody that's trying to offer you a small offer. Like they they are focused on your finances here. Continue being patient with yourself and continue healing and moving forward. You've got ultimate happiness coming in here for you and it's because you did this inner work on yourself there's something about whatever this person was trying to paint you out has it's not adding up so just continue to be your true authentic self it's not going to work this person's going to try to convince you to invest into them still but they're with they're they're connected to someone else still though is what i don't understand tell you about illusion this person likes to fill everybody's heads with illusions about you tell you about illusion Illusion. Eight of Swords. So this person's worrying. Like they got themselves trapped in illusions. This person's stressing, overthinking things. This person's really thinking of a way to try to get you to react, try to get you to open back up to them. You're very cold and attached. And there's something about this person saying half-truths about you. The sword is sideways. So this person does never was honest. Like this person's not honest with themselves. So you are you kidding? Do you think they're going to be honest with other people? No. So this person is a very cold and detached, detached person. And this person is trying to, trying to clarify why you are the way you are towards them. It's like they try to, to get 10 steps ahead of you to try to create the narrative before you, you tell your side. A lot of you guys aren't even telling your side because you got better things to worry about, clearly. Something about this connection, trying to create an illusion, trying to play the victim, trying to make it seem one way when it was far from the other. Something about this person trying to downplay your, your success here too. They're in illusion, they're got themselves in illusions about how well you're doing. And something about this person just being in illusions about who you are. If you have told this person that you're an earth angel, you're a healer, you're psychic, whatever you resonate has, this person's got themselves in illusions. Like they for sure thought that you were just blowing steam up their skirt. Is that what the saying is? I think it is. Blowing smoke up their, their ASS, I guess. And you're showing this person that you are who you say you are. This person's still trying to figure out how did you create all this emotional happiness and all this prosperity without them in the picture. That's what this person's trying to figure out. You've got air, water, Aries, earth, earth, water, fixed energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, earth, water, air, 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 and air. A lot of air, a lot of mental conflict that this person's having right now. The illusions are shattering. And this person can't handle that you hold a mirror up to them. You make them see their demons. So this person's got some inner work that they need to do on themselves. But they they don't want to take accountability for their actions. This person didn't realize that you were going to gain all of this, this strength, this prosperity during this separation. And this person was not able to separate you from any of your blessings at all. This person tries to make people feel bad for them like they all they just play the 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 pity party game is what they play with people you're not falling for this person's crap anymore like they can't shame you and this person's trying to figure out how to bring the romance back between the two of you still though something about this person trying to downplay how you showed up in this connection Sagittarius. There's a marriage here involved definitely for somebody here. Or this person's going to 
trying to tell you that they want marriage here. There's something about a contract here. And this it's like this person's salty that you got more revenue now that you're away from them. Tell me more. A mature man. And there's these secrets again, I'm telling you. So you're grounded, practical, self-made, ambitious. You, you've matured up. And this person is something about this person's immature side showing for who they are. And there's these secrets again. This is somebody that tried to create all these false scenarios about you and their secrets aren't adding up anymore. And there's something about this person still trying to return to you in secret. Tell me more. This person's obsessed with you. They feel like you still belong to them. They act confused like they don't know what they did wrong when they know what they did. They act confused on why they, on what happened, the way that things played out, the ghosting. They're confused why you don't want nothing to do with them. And then they act confused on what they did to you when they know what they did. This person likes to gaslight you. Tell me more. Because you're letting go. It's over. No more drama, no more stress, time to live again. That's why they're envious. Your life is getting ready to take off. And this person still got this, this ideal in their mindset like they can get you back. You got the door open to new things. That's that door opening up to your self-worth and that prosperity. And some of you could be heading towards new connections. You could have children with this person. Something about this person trying to downplay your gifts, your psychic gifts. Something about this person trying to come towards you with this compassion, trying to get you to forgive them and pull on your empathy. You're not going for it. You guys could have dealt with the water sign or have water placements in your moon rising or Venus here or North Node. This is a runner. This is someone that takes off and runs away from their problems while you take yours head on. It's okay when they're running away from you, but now that you're running and your your life is getting better and you're, you're gaining momentum, oh, they're envious of that. You could be a homebody. You could just be just all about just bettering you, just bettering everything in your life. And this person is trying to figure out how to um, convince you to trust them again. Because it's like they want to try to come in here and try to sweep you off your feet. But you already know what this person's about. That's why they're envious too because you're, you're 10 steps ahead of this person. Sagittarius. You're uninterested in this. That's why they want to try to, to, they get mad and they try to talk more crap about you when you walk away. Like, they, they get upset. This person's got some kind of self-esteem issues. Something about you getting money, too. You could be, um, this person could miss how you used to, you were generous. Something about your generous side that this person used to take advantage of. And something about this person getting jealous of all this money that you're receiving here. Tell me more. This is someone that wanted to impersonate you, copies you, dresses like you, tries to copy the way you talk, the way you think, the way you speak. Like this person likes to impersonate you. A divination abuser. This is somebody that's dark. This is somebody who is, if they're gifted, they use it for dark. And I felt like that. I felt like this person was trying to do some dark things to you in secret. And it, you already know. Like you already know. That's what this person doesn't understand. They, they're a divination abuser. That's why nothing is working for them. This is somebody here that doesn't like that you're just able to ignore it. You're like that cat just laying there, just not a care in the world. And this person's over there stomping their feet like a toddler. This person likes to force, force their way back in there, force her. They try to force people to see their view of something. Like this person doesn't, doesn't like to be told no. They don't like people to look at them differently. Jeez. Tell me more. You're too busy winning. That's what this person doesn't understand as well. Like, you're too busy winning at life to care what this person says or does to you. Like, you're over it. This is a happiness hater. This is somebody that doesn't want to see you happy with somebody else. They don't want to see you happy, period. They don't like this self-worth. They don't like this prosperity. But, oh, well, they're just going to have to sit back and watch it. A stalker. Somebody that's obsessed. Stalking. Watching. Somebody that makes stuff up about you. They got no facts, so they'll just make crap up. That's what they do. They run their mouth. As, again, you, you, you don't care. Because you know your truth. You know what you're doing and what you're not doing. That's what this person doesn't understand. And they're, the way that their mindset works, they automatically think you're going to run in panic like they do. Because that's how their mind operates. So let it, just let this person run themselves in circles. Because that's clearly what they're doing. Like I said, you got too many good things going on in your life to worry about what this person's saying. Sagittarius. 
This person wanted you to feel this resistance. They wanted to try to suppress something when it comes towards you. For some of you, this person admires you, but they ain't going to tell you that. It's like this person wanted you to resist your, your self-esteem. They didn't want you to work on yourself. They didn't want you to go towards this prosperity path that you clearly are, are meant for. It's your birthright. Tell me more. Man, this person's really all up in your business, spying on you, trying to stay hidden like you don't know they're doing it. <clears throat> Sagittarius. This person's watching you manifest, watching you keep the faith and all these beautiful expectations, they're headed your way. Beautiful. There's something about this, the way that this person is jealous of the way that you look too. So you're charming, graceful, kind-hearted, you're beautiful on the inside and out and this person's envious of that. This person thought you was going to chase after them and you're not. This person didn't realize how resilient you were. You're chasing after your dreams and now this person wants to come back behind you and start chasing you down. And it almost looks like this person's trying to tackle you from going towards your goal. They're not going to be able to stop you. That's why you're creating these boundaries with this person. Enough is enough. Drawing the line, it's done. It's a wrap. It's over. Trying to figure out a way to keep you stuck in this web. They feed off of your, they feed off reactions. They feed off of your time, your energy, your finances for somebody here. But you're not falling for this, this web of lies anymore with this person. You're building a solid foundation for yourself. Security is important. Family is important. So that's what you're going for. And this person can't handle that. You are the solid foundation. And they don't get to be, have access to you. They're trying to figure out how to get you to open your heart back up. This person didn't want you to open your heart back up to anything because they are a, a very dark person. So they wanted you to remain dark. No longer letting this person pull on your empathy and no longer being vulnerable with this person's bullcrap that they were trying to send your way. You don't fall for it anymore. Some of you guys have a, a better connection coming in. Soulmates. You want that deep love. You want to feel that connection with somebody and this person cannot provide it for you. You're over here headed for these good times. You're excited. You're, you're just your excitement, your good times, your ecstasy. And this person's bitter because of it. You, you've you done. Enough's enough. You had your final straw. And this person's panicking by themselves. Like they're overwhelming themselves. They're pissed off. They got themselves stuck in this fantasy land. Like they are, like they can still come back to you. And this person is watching your what you wanted for yourself, this is someone that tried to tell you that you couldn't make things happen for yourself. And they're watching you create it for yourself. That's why they're getting pissed off too. It's like a big old adult baby. That's what this person is, a big old baby. Sagittarius. Comparing yourself to others keeps you stuck in a cycle of guilt and shame and continues to separate you from your blessings. It keeps you small. Understand that everyone has their own journey, which always unfolds in divine timing. Your time will come. So the person wants to compare themselves to everybody. They have their own path, their, their own journey to go down, and they're so focused on what you got going on. You're staying in your lane and you're focusing on yourself. Like this person tries to knock you off course. Don't let them do that. No act of kindness is ever wasted. Some of the kindest people you will have ever met been through hell and back themselves. That strengthens their compassion and empathy. If this is describing you, keep being the beautiful soul that you are. And this is who you are. You've been through a lot of dark things and you did not let that pull you into the darkness. You still remain kind and empathetic. That's another reason this person's jealous of you. The way that you're able to transmute energy and you just you keep being this, this beautiful, authentic version of yourself, compassionate. So the more dark that this person tries to throw your way, the more compassionate you become. So are you really wanting anything here? Not really. But you got a lot of good things headed your way, guys. So keep the boundaries up with this person here. All right, my beautiful Sagittarius, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again, guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Light and love to you guys. I'll see you guys later.